Hey guys, K20 Hall here, back at you with another Wet Sold video. It's week 5 of 2024. Starting out with a couple sales, nothing too great though. Uh, Croft and Barrow, this vest, sold for $15 plus shipping. Got that free from my mom. Next up, Smooches, Beanie Boos. These two sold for like 15 bucks on Mercari. I paid a dollar each for those, so I'll make some money. I think they should ship, I think they're going to weigh a little bit under a pound combined. Well, seven and a half for one. Seven and a half ounces for one, so maybe they'll actually charge more than a pound. Maybe I won't make much money on that, but I'm getting rid of it, so I'm happy. Daryl Wallace Jr., Bubba Wallace, uh, this is whenever he was in the 43 car, sold for $15 plus shipping. Uh, this Claptrap sold for 6 bucks plus shipping. Ariel from Little Mermaid, she sold for like 24 bucks. I think she's pretty, she's like 24 inches long. I think I can just fold her up like this, and she should fit in a poly bag. I think she'll be under a pound. And then these, this hat is a Sarasota Sea Dogs. <laughs> Anytime you see the emblem right here that says the minor leagues baseball, and it's less than a dollar, I would pick up the hat. Not all of them sell for that much. I've sold some before for 11 or 12 bucks, but teams that are no longer in existence like this one, I couldn't find much info on this one. It took me forever to list this because I couldn't figure it out. Eventually Google Lens actually did match that to the Sarasota Sea Dogs. I thought that was like a salamander or something like that. So that's what I was searching. I was searching teams with an S with an, you know, with a salamander and nothing was coming up at all. So this is apparently a affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. So yeah, I don't know what they are now. If they are even still in existence, I don't think they are, but maybe they are. This hat was a fitted hat and it's still sold within a couple hours of posting for 50 bucks plus shipping. And that's it for sales throughout the week. Here are my sales for today. Starting out with this Logitech keyboard. I think I paid like five or six for this originally. Um, it sold for 55 bucks plus shipping. At one point, I think I had this listed on Amazon and I took it down whenever I didn't know vacation mode existed on Amazon, never relisted it. So yeah, sold on eBay for like 55 plus shipping. Sold this Insignia radio on Amazon. At one point it got returned, I think because the packaging got damaged, but it worked when I tested it. So I sold it, you know, used, obviously used condition. But still sold for like 20 bucks plus shipping. And this big thing of Mega blocks all in there. Those sold for like 45 plus shipping, I think is what those sold for. Uh, some Beanie Boos sold. Peaches and Gabby both sold for around 12 to 15 each with free shipping. One Lego minifigure, Headless Nick. I think that's who this is. I'm not sure exactly, but sold for like 10 bucks. Not much, but still sold. New York Nicks. Um, Build a Bear outfit sold for like 17. I picked up the Build a Bear and the Build a Bear outfit. The outfit sold for more than the bear. This is what happens sometimes. This is a cool sale. Um, I don't know where I got this. It's a Ray Charles shirt. Um, Gen Genius of Soul, I think is what it says. I think that's who it's supposed to be. Yeah, Ray Charles. So this sold for like 20 bucks. Um, and then I sold for 10 bucks only with Danny and Tomlinson jersey. I got this in an online auction by a long, like probably five years ago. Finally sold for 10 bucks. Obviously not worth having for that long. And last but not least, I don't mind, two more. These golf balls sold for, I think, 17 bucks on Mercari. So I bought a bunch of golf balls at a garage sale, slowly selling through them. They've been selling a lot lately. So I don't know if, I guess, uh, golf season starting to pick up a little bit in certain places. This is a cutie car. Treasure Drove is the one. This one is worth way more back whenever it came out. It's a limited edition, so it was like the chase piece. Um, but sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. So not too bad for one day. I think it's like 10, 10 orders went on eBay and one on Mercari. And... Poshmark's been dead lately for me. Here are my sales for today. Only had five items sell, unfortunately. So we'll go over those real quickly. It won't take very long. This Daryl Waltrip hat sold for 10 bucks with free shipping. <laughs> so really not much money there. Did have the tag, so I was surprised it didn't sell for more. Uh, this armadillo hat also sold for 10 bucks. It's got the tail and the armadillo. <laughs> that was a cool hat. I've had it for a long time, but finally sold. Doc Brown from Back to the Future. This movie was on recently, so it was kind of funny that it sold. It sold for 15 I had it listed for 25 but it's been listed for a little while, and I just wanted to get rid of it, so I sold it for cheap. This sold for 60 bucks. This is Lego Clone Turbo Tank. There are no clone troopers in it, but it's for parts only. The buyer knows that. And then the best sale is on Mercari. So I still haven't had a Poshmark sale in a long time. This is Mercari sale. This is Soprano. It's a suit... Um, it's a suit, the jacket, the vest, and the pants. So three-piece suit, I guess you can call it. Sold for 88 bucks on Mercari. This came out of a storage unit where I found the bike and a bunch of clothes and clothes in a wardrobe box. And this was one that sold for 88 bucks. So yeah, not bad. Here are my sales for today. Poshmark. I had two sales going on Poshmark. I haven't had Poshmark sale in forever. And finally, two items sold. 
This Ralph Lauren, like, qu corduroy, I think is what it was, shirt sold for $19 plus Poshmark, Poshmark shipping. I can't always say that word. Poshmark. Posh. This VTech also sold on Poshmark for 8 bucks plus shipping. I decided to go ahead and take an offer. <laughs> and then three eBay sales. Chico's shirt. This sold for, like, $15 plus shipping. This little ghost pumpkin sold for $12 free shipping. It's like you put the pumpkin on top and then the ghost pops out. I don't know. I shouldn't have ever bought it because it took forever to sell. And this Barbie doll sold for, I think, $20 with free shipping. So five sales going out today. Nothing great, but hopefully tomorrow. I know I've already, tomorrow's already made decent because I already got a $100 sale on tomorrow. That's already confirmed on Mercari. So look forward to that because today wasn't very good. Here are my sales for today. The pre-weekend sales. This Nike hoodie sold for $15 plus shipping. Came out of a storage unit, so it's free to me at this point. This guy sold for $60, James T. Kirk. Uh, this is like a little action figure from Star Trek. He sold for $60. I think I paid $12 for him. Retail arbitrage. The best sale for today is this Sony Watchman TV. It, I did test it. It did work. It sold for $200 plus shipping for this little TV. Um, it shouldn't actually be too hard to ship because it's pretty small. It's, you know, that like this in my hands. So it should fit in a uh, 10 by... 6x4 box or 10 by 8x8 by eight box or something like that shouldn't be too hard to ship luckily uh, and this also got the big little uh if i can find it <laughs> this huge monstrosity of a charger <laughs> that goes with it so i need to wrap all that up make sure it's safe but it shouldn't be too bad sentry this little action figure sold for like 15 dollars uh, i think <laughs> sent an offer of 15 out this hp laptop sold for $25. Pretty fast, actually, on, on Mercari, I think. Or no. I think it sold on Mercari. Maybe for $30 on Mercari. Either way, um, it was listed for parts only because I couldn't get the password. <laughs> came out of a storage unit, so the previous owner had a password in there, and I didn't know how to reset it. I'll let somebody else deal with that. Uh, next up, this Hot Tool sold for $28 on Mercari. Probably paid like $11 bucks for this. Put uh, clearance down at some retail arbitrage spot. These two guys sold again. They sold at one point and the person returned them because they weren't what they thought they were. I don't know how. I showed the pictures. Everything showed in the pictures. These two sold for like 40 bucks with free shipping. This little Squishies uh, cupcake sold for like $10. Not much, but it's something. And then last but not least, this thing back here. This TCX 77 little cassette CD something. That sold for $115. Um, with free shipping on Mercari. So hopefully it won't be too bad to ship, but I only paid like 50 cents, 25 cents for that at a yard sale. So yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> and I did test it and it did work. So that's always good. Well, test it as much as I could at least. And that's it for the pre-weekend sales. Here are my weekend sales. Starting out with this guy right here. It's a musical like Gone Fishing Bear. This came, I think it came from an online auction buy I made, but he sold for like, I think he sold for around $30 on Mercari with free shipping. Next up, two, if you ever see little sleepies, um, uh, and they're new in the packaging, you should definitely pick them up. These are free for my mom. They were ones that she originally got, I guess, for my niece and nephew wear, but they've now outgrown them. So, uh, she told me to go ahead and sell them. This one sold for 50 bucks, I believe. It's the, uh, Rad Rabbits. So it's Easter time, so this one's sold. 60 bucks, this one's going to Canada. It's the Dragon Scale version. It says on their Dragon Scales, two-piece bamboo viscose pajama set. So really good sale for both of those. Um, some Barbie items going out. This came from a recent storage unit buy where the tenant showed up as I was cleaning it out. Hanging swivel chair sold for like 10 bucks plus shipping. And then I sold these two, tr this trundle bed. You have the big one on top and you can kind of pull out the little one. So it's two different beds. These sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. This Nike bag sold within a couple hours of me posting it. It's an LSU Nike Air Max bag, sold for around fifty dollars, um, including shipping. But it actually, sh it, I think it weighed a little bit over a pound, but it only cost like seven bucks to ship because it's going to Tennessee, I think. You think that LSU stuff would go to Louisiana, but it's going to White House, Tennessee. Sold five uh, Rainbow High dolls. These five sold for, I think they sold for around fifty to sixty dollars once you include shipping. So, yeah, if you find Rainbow High for cheap. Um, yeah, and with the these also has some clothing included, which clothing helps it sell as well. Um, but yeah, it took a little bit to sell, but it sold within uh, probably a month of posting. This one took forever to sell. I was about to just throw it away slash donate it, and I sent out an $8 off on Mercari, $8 of free shipping, and someone accepted that offer. So it did sell. It's not going to make me much money, but it did sell. 
Baby Yoda slash Grogu sold for around $23, including shipping. This Yoshi hat came out of a storage unit. Um, it sold for like 12 bucks plus shipping. Gary the Snail from Spongebob, he sold for around 15 for free shipping. This Max D Monster Jam truck sold for, I think it sold for around like 15 as well, with, including shipping. This Columbia jacket sold for around 20 on Mercari. And last but not least, this Hot Tools series whatever thing, like... I guess it's a removal head for on go on the go styling, so whatever professional reliability. This thing sold for around twenty eight bucks, including shipping. And that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale, and subscribe and subscribe. Thanks for watching.